All this week we've been sharing travel deals in our series planes, steels, and automobiles. Today at 645 we are talking rental cars. So if you need one for an upcoming trip, you're going to want to see our, sh our, our show, our whole show. We've got some ideas that can help save you hundreds of dollars when you book. As expensive as they are these days, you'll need yeah. it. Yeah, that's right. right. Okay, right. Amy, we'll see you then. Thank you. Uh, a lot of people are looking to travel again. And right now the price is right for some locations. Our Kathy Hernandez has the story. I just love to travel, just love to see new things, experience new things. And helping others see new things is David's specialty at Texas State Optical North Shore. So everything's been cleaned and disinfected. On his off time, David likes to travel and went to Colorado last month. I paid for all four plane tickets and they were very, very cheap. Usually what I pay for two of them is what I was paying for four. Ray Alton at Almeda Travel says prices likely won't stay that way much longer. People have pent up travel urges and they want to go someplace. He says travel is increasing and so are prices, but you can still find good value. So many hotels have reopened and, you know, they're lit looking to get um, people into the rooms. He says Riviera Maya is one of the hottest destinations. This month, you can get a trip for two for four nights at now Jade Riviera in Cancun for just over $1,900. And that includes plane tickets. You get a lot of value in regards to having an all-inclusive, so all your meals and beverages and activities are included. If you want to lounge on a beach in the U.S., he suggests a getaway to Miami, a trip for two, four nights to the Fontainebleau, including airfares, $1,800. For a romantic trip to Sin City, four nights to the Venetian plus flights is 900 No matter where you go, Alton has noticed you may find the best deal waiting 30 days before the trip to book and being flexible. You know, we may have to change your dates around a little bit. Traveling midweek may be your best bet. Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. Travel agents also remind you before you head out, check if any attractions are closed. And if you're leaving the country, double check the COVID protocols at your destination.